Welcome back to a new video from the Visual Art Classroom in, at uh, Isakalvani Secondary School. We already have, as you can see uh, here, the two main lines for one point perspective drawing, I mean the ground line and the horizon line. We placed as well uh, the vanishing point just in the middle and one point and starting point uh, on the ground line that uh, we are going to label as A, point A. Well, you can see that we drew uh, the two main lines parallel to each other and uh, the first one in the lowest part of the sheet and the second one, the horizon, just in the middle. I strongly recommend you to place this line at this place and not uh, above because you are going to get into trouble. Uh, well, the first thing we have uh, to do is to uh, repeat the point A uh, taking uh, 20 millimeters for example uh, this is a standard measurement you can take a different one it's up to you uh, how many times you want to repeat it is also up to you uh, we're going to repeat it oh sorry uh, Ten times, ten times. So yes. Uh, well, a little bit more. Twelve is going to be a very good thing for us. Well, next step to take is, um, of course, label the last point. I mean, point. This is going to be point B in our work, work. And uh, next step to take is to join to join all the lines or the points we get to the vanishing point. This is a crucial procedure while working with a one point perspective drawing. So of course in your case you're going to work with a ruler You can see over here that it's quite easy to get as many lines as we need, of course, depending on uh, how many divisions we get on the ground line. That's, that's done. So next step is placing and determining where the uh, delta point, remember we were talking about that classroom this is delta point so I'm going to label D in this case remember delta is a Greek letter but we, we can uh, talk about D point in, th in this case uh, and the next thing to do is just join this point D to A remember this is a very uh, important point because it influences very strongly uh, on the final results of our drawing I mean the closer the point to the vanishing point point D to the vanishing point the deeper is going to be our um, our room and of course the uh, farther away from the point v uh, VM in the vanishing point the shorter is going to be our room next step is drawing from every intersection point lines that are going to be parallel horizontal I mean parallel to both the ground and the horizon line so you can see that we place all those lines parallel to this line. You are going to work with, in your case, with the uh, set squares. Of course, don't work just at a sheer glance because this is a very usual mistake people make. So I'm going to keep going all the way with all those lines in order to encompass the whole width 
of the floor so it is quite easy to finish the work the best you can we are about to finish so we can get closure of, clo of course two more left yes I'm going to extend a little bit these ones yes in order to make them a little bit better yes that's all so this is more or less the first step we get so far uh, uh, we uh, get a beautiful uh, squared floor and we're going in the next video to keep going with the rest of the room